Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and today I'm excited to show you Adobe Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Mobile allows you to synchronize your collections with your desktop application to your iPad so that you can review and refine your images without being tethered to the desktop. When you make changes to images on your iPad, those changes are automatically synced with the images on your desktop. In this video, we're going to take a look at what you need to install and then walk through the workflow to get you up to speed as quickly as possible. So let's get started. First of all, Lightroom Mobile consists of three parts. The most recent of the Lightroom desktop application, the Lightroom Mobile app for iPad, which you will need to download from the Apple App Store, and an Adobe ID. Once you have those three components, the first thing you'll want to do in Lightroom on the desktop is sign in. Here you'll use your sign in for your Adobe account. Once you're signed in, you'll notice in the collections panel that all of your collections have little empty boxes next to them. If you want to synchronize a collection in order to be edited on your iPad, simply click in that empty box. Now, I know some of you might be more folder organized and not collection organized, but it's really easy. If I have a folder like my cactus folder and I want to turn that into a collection, all I need to do is drag it down into the collection set and Lightroom will automatically make a collection from all of the images in the folder. Now, I want to be clear here, I just want to let you know that under the hood, what's going on is when you click to synchronize a collection from your desktop to the iPad, Lightroom is not going to upload the entire RAW file into the cloud. These files would be too big, and depending on your internet connection, it would take too long, and you might not even have enough room on your iPad for all of the images that you have in your collection. So instead, Lightroom is simply going to synchronize the Smart Preview. And don't worry if you haven't built Smart Previews. You you can build Smart Previews on import. You can also go under the library menu here and go to Previews to build the Smart Previews. But if you haven't done that, when you click to synchronize a collection, Lightroom will automatically build those Smart Previews and upload them to the cloud. One last thing I just want to point out, once you've synchronized your images, you'll notice that that small synchronize icon will also appear in the grid view. Excellent. Let's go ahead and move over to the Lightroom mobile app. I will tap it to launch it. We can see the collection that I just synchronized as well as other collections. If I want to see inside the collection, I simply tap on it. Then I can click and swipe down to see through the collection. If I find an image that I want to zoom into, I can tap on that collection. If I want to zoom in, I can double tap. To zoom back out, I'll double tap again. Or we can use our pinch in and pinch out gestures in order to zoom in and zoom out. If I want to move to the next image, I simply swipe. And if I want to hide the interface, I can tap outside of the image. In order to bring the interface back, I'll tap again. If I want to quickly move back to the beginning of my collection, I'll show the thumbnail down here at the bottom and scroll back. Now that we're at the beginning, I'll select the first image. I want to do a quick review of my images, and I want to tag some of them. So as I swipe through the different images, if I see an image that I like, I will tap and swipe up in order to add a pick flag to that image. I like this one as well, so I'll tap and swipe up. If there's an image that I don't like, I can tap and swipe down in order to reject it. So I'll reject that one. I'm going to pick this one. You can see how I can quickly move through and either pick or reject images. Now let's go ahead and return back to the grid view. And I know that the grid view looks a little bit different here than it does on the desktop app, but that's because Lightroom Mobile has been redesigned and re-engineered and optimized for the tablet device. If I want to filter these images so that I only see those that are flagged, I can go ahead and choose to show just the picked images, or just my rejected images, or come back to view all of them. I can also change how it's sorted. We can sort by modified date, we can sort by file name, and you'll notice that both file name and capture time, if I tap them twice, it goes from ascending to descending and vice versa. I also notice that there's an empty spot right over here on the right where I have a feeling the engineers are probably thinking about adding additional ways to sort your images. Two more things before we return back to the desktop app. 
If I do a two finger touch, you'll notice that I can toggle to see if any flags or if any adjustments have been made to an image. If I tap again with two fingers, we can see the camera settings. And if I tap one more time, we'll see file info. Tapping again, we'll go ahead and turn that off. Also, if I don't like the cover image, the image right here that Lightroom displays, I can select any other image in my collection. And then if I tap, I can set it as the cover. Now when we return back to the collection view, you can see that's been updated. Now if we return back to the desktop app and I move to the Japan collection, you can see that those files have been synchronized and we can see the flags right here. So just a few technical notes before we wrap up. First of all, Lightroom Mobile can only sync one catalog. It can sync as many collections that you want in that catalog, but only one catalog. So if you do use multiple catalogs, you'll want to be aware of that because if you quit one catalog and open another one and synchronize it, that new catalog will actually overwrite or replace all of the images that you had synchronized from the first catalog. By default, you should also know that Lightroom Mobile will only sync over Wi-Fi. You can change this here if I select my settings area. I can toggle it to also use cellular data, but in this case, I want to keep it set to Wi-Fi. If you are going to want to work with offline files, maybe you're getting on a flight or a train with no Wi-Fi, or if you have a slow or intermittent connection, you might want to enable the collection for offline editing. I can see here that the Japan collection has already been enabled. So let's move up here to the Death Valley collection. I will click on the three dots right here and just choose to enable offline editing. We can see that it will download the collection. It tells you how much storage space you need. And I'll go ahead and click download. Now what's it doing? Remember, we're using those smart previews. They were sitting up in the cloud. Now Lightroom is going to download those to the local device. Excellent. Now that we have set up Lightroom Mobile and selected the best images from the shoot, be sure to join me in part two, where we'll take a look at the adjustments you can make to photographs. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.